find the equivalent capacitance between the nodes A and B when each edge of the cube is having the capacitance of C farad. So here we have one cubic skeleton in which all the 12 edges have the capacitance of C farad and therefore I have added one capacitor in each edge having the capacitance of C farad and we are required to find out the equivalent capacitance between the nodes A and B. And if you remember few lectures back we had discussion on cubic skeleton of resistors and there I give you one very simple and effective method to find out the equipotential points in the skeleton. And after applying that method we found this node here, this node here and this node here have the same potential and let's say the potential is V1. So all the three nodes have the potential V1 and we also found that this node, this node and this node have the same potential. They are equipotential points and let's say the potential is V2. And now we will apply one voltage source across node A and node B. Why we are applying across node A and B? Because we are required to calculate the equivalent capacitance between nodes A and B. So let us connect one voltage source providing the voltage V and let's say current I is the current leaving the positive terminal of the voltage source. Now current I will encounter the same potential difference in all the three branches because here we have the potential difference of V minus V1, here we have potential difference of V minus V1 and across the third branch also the potential difference is V minus V1 and the same capacitor is there in all the three branches. Therefore, our current I will get divided into three equal parts and all the three branches will have current I by 3. So this is one very important point and now we will focus on this current I by 3 at this node it will encounter the same potential difference across the two paths it is having V1 minus V2, V1 minus V2 and same capacitor is there in both the branches. So our current I by 3 will get divided into two equal parts. Therefore, in this branch current will be I by 6, in this branch current will be I by 6 and the same thing will happen with this current and this current. It will get divided into two currents I by 6, I by 6 and this current will get divided into two currents I by 6 and I by 6. Now focus on this node. At this node I by 6 is entering, I by 6 is entering therefore the leaving current will be I by 3. Similarly in this branch the leaving current is I by 3 and in this branch the leaving current is I by 3. Now at node B I by 3 is entering, I by 3 is entering and I by 3 is entering. Therefore the leaving current is I. And we know the voltage across a capacitor is equal to 1 over the capacitance of the capacitor integration current through the capacitor dt. And now we will apply KVL in this loop. Starting from the voltage source we will have plus V. Then we have minus 1 over C integration current which is I by 3 dt minus 
1 over c integration current i by 3 dt then we have minus 1 over c current i by 6 dt minus 1 over c integration i by 6 dt similarly here we will have minus 1 by c integration i by 3 dt minus 1 by c integration i by 3 dt and then we move back to our source therefore from here we can say that voltage v is equal to 1 over c inside the bracket we have 1 by 3 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 3 integration i dt now when you simplify this you will get 5 by 6 therefore voltage v is equal to 5 by 6 c integration i dt or we can say voltage v is equal to 1 over 6 by 5 c integration i dt now when you compare this with this you will find the total capacitance which is the equivalent capacitance or we can call it cab is equal to 6 by 5 c so we have obtained our answer this is the equivalent capacitance between the nodes a and b